Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkerverse. This week, joining our collection of super unique live wallpapers and home screen setups is another unexpected winning request. This week, with a request score of over 12,000, straight from high school DXT, is Riaz. And just like the rest in the series, I'm going to show you exactly how you can take your boring Android home screens and turn them into something like this. So if you want to see more like this, as well as other Android tips and tricks, make sure to like and subscribe. Oh and don't forget to get your favorite images animated, make sure to submit them right within the Epic Live Wallpaper app itself. And of course, don't forget to boost them right to the top, with the number one ranking request made on a weekly basis. So don't miss out. With this home screen, I've made sure to keep to her darker colors, with black, white and grey tones splashed across the whole system. Now it is a fairly simple look, yet it does allow you to fully show off the real estate of your screens. With sketched out black and white icons, a color customized music widget and finishing things off, we have a vertical date and time indicator. Now before we go any further, if you guys like this setup, make sure to smash that like button, it will really help out the channel. To replicate this home screen on your Android phones, all you're going to need is Nova Launcher, KWGT for all of the widgets, and finishing things off as icing on the cake, we're using Hex Installer. Now don't worry, I'll leave a link for everything that you'll need down in the video description below. So let's kick things off with some Nova Launcher tweaks, starting with removing that notification bar from our home screens to give us this clean look. For this, within Nova Launcher settings, just simply head into the look and feel section and under notifications, make sure to disable this option right here. So now that we have that out the way, let's make a couple more changes within Nova Launcher to get this comfy icon set up. So just head into the home screen section and starting right at the top with the desktop grid, we want to set that to 5 across and 11 down. After which, for the icons themselves, we're first going to turn off their labeling and then decrease their size. And finally, let's look at that custom dock. Here, make sure to first enable it. And for the padding option, we want to max out both of the sliders here. So now that that's sorted, we can finally add in a dock background. So starting right at the top, make sure to enable it. And then for its background color, we're going to use the stock preset black. After which, we're also going to set its transparency to 49%. And next, make sure to toggle on padding. And as for all of the cornering options, we want to make sure that we set these to squarical, all at 100%. So now that we have the basic setup, let's move on to our home screen app icon. Giving us this sketched out black and white look is the black style pack. Just simply head to Nova Launcher's look and feel section and then set the pack as your system icons, just as I'm showing here. Now before we go any further, let's grab ourselves this awesome live wallpaper. For this, just simply head over to my custom collection app, Epic Live Wallpapers and you'll find it there. And remember, if you want me to animate one of your favorite images, make sure to submit it right within the app itself. And of course, don't forget to boost it higher up the list. And every week, I'll be making the number one ranked request. So now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to our KWGT widgets. So let's start things off with these quick access music controls. Straight from the mini music player pack is the widget 36, which in this case has been color customized to match the rest of our theme. Just simply start by loading in a KWGT layout to your home screen and then you want to resize it so it looks something like this. Now for my screen, the default size of the widget was perfect. However, if you guys want to change it up, just simply adjust the scale option within the layer tab. Now before we adjust the overall color of the widget, let's change up the color of the text indicators themselves, altering them from the default black to white, so they'll stand out once the background color is changed. So to do this, just simply head over to the overlap group item here, 
then the stack group item, and then the stack group once more. Here, you're going to find both of the text elements that you want to change. Just simply head into both of their paint tabs and then just change their colors to white. Next up, hit the back button twice so you're within the first overlap group. Now here, we want to use the plus button in the top right of our screens to add in a new shape item. Head into it and then start maxing out its size so it fills up the whole canvas. After which, head over to its paint tab and set its color to black. And finally, its filter from normal to multiply. At this point, all that's left is to use the handles on the left hand side of your screens to drag our newly added shape and place it as the second item in the list. And of course, once done, make sure to hit save before you leave. Now for the second widget of the setup, this vertical date and time indicator, courtesy of the roundy pack, is widget 002. So here, let's start things off once again by loading in a KWGT layout to our home screens and then resize it so it looks something like this. Now with this widget, it's super basic. Just simply head over to the layer tab and then increase its size until you get to a look that you're happy with. And now wrapping up the setup, we're using Hex Installer. This is going to give you a nice AMOLED friendly black backdrop with the colors of the theme splashed across your whole system, including the notification panel. Just use the color codes that I'm showing on screen. Or alternatively, you can get a similar result using the app OneShade. Now if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on the next one. And as for your live wallpaper requests, make sure to boost them right within the epic live wallpaper app itself. See you guys next time on Into the Parkiverse.